Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making custom holograms with Adafruit's Pi Portal. This uses an inexpensive hologram prism and a servo to create a spinning hologram. With Adafruit's Pi Portal, you can easily play animated GIFs and project your own artwork. In this video, we'll show you how to wire up the electronics to make it portable. The components are secured to our 3D printed parts and designed for an easy assembly. We've made it portable so you can hold it in the palm of your hand. With Adafruit's hardware, it's easy to upgrade the firmware. Just follow the learn guide and download the firmware from circuitpython.org. You can download the ready-to-go UF2 file from the Adafruit learning system. The Pi Portal shows up as a USB drive, so you can just drag and drop the files. With the upgraded firmware, you can toss your GIF images into a folder. The Pi Portal will automatically reboot and run the code. We think this is a great way to quickly get your projects up and running. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. We designed the 3D printed parts to print without any support material. You can get a pack of these pop-up prisms online. They're normally meant for mobile devices like cell phones and tablets. To make the wiring a bit easier, we suggest using these JST cables. Using wire strippers, you can expose the wires and tin the tips with a bit of solder. The Adafruit PowerBoost 1000C will make it so the Pi Portal can run off a battery. You'll want to wire up a slide switch so the circuit can be turned on and off. You can bend the pins so the switch is more easily accessible. The slide switch is soldered to the enable and ground pins on the PowerBoost 1000C. We'll use nylon standoffs and screws to secure the Pi Portal to the 3D printed mounting plate. The PowerBoost 1000C is also secured with nylon screws. You can keep the battery in place with a bit of mounting tack. The Pi Portal fits on top of the mounting plate and secured to the standoffs with nylon screws. Now we can connect the servo to the Pi Portal. You can plug in the JST cable directly into the port on the side of the Pi Portal. The servo is press fitted into the built-in holder on the mounting plate. Then plug in the male headers from the JST cable to the connector on the servo. Now we can install the servo horn and attach it to the 3D printed platform. The case is then fitted over the display. Use the slide switch to power on the circuit and test out the rotation. If your servo has an internal potentiometer, you can adjust the speed and direction with a small screwdriver. You'll want to place the suction cup in the center of the display, then fit the prism on top. The graphics are designed and fitted into four quadrants, so the reflections are projected onto each side of the prism. And there you have it! That's how you can create your own holograms. Be sure to check out the Adafruit Discord server so you can chat with the community. We want to give a big shout out to you folks sharing your projects. We invite you to Adafruit Show & Tell live stream so you can be awarded a free vinyl sticker. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.